Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to lay out a form using CSS instead of tables. Now in a previous tutorial I demonstrated how to create this form and it was laid out using a table. So the code that was in there was pretty complex because we had all the table row and TD tags in there. For example, uh, if I show you the contact form, right, we had table tags, TR, TD tags, things laying out the table in there. And there's a much more simplistic way of approaching that, and that's what we're going to look at using CSS for laying out the form, but still kind of getting the same effect of having a table layout. So I have a basic page already created and it really doesn't have much of anything set up in it yet except opening and closing form tags. So I'm going to begin by inside my opening form tag I'm going to give my form an ID. I'm just going to call it simple form. And I'm giving it an ID so that I can use this ID in my style sheet. Now I have another style sheet that's linked here but for simplicity purposes I'm going to put the style sheet information up here in the head section. So I'll be adding the style information for our table up here. So to begin with, let's build our form. And this is just going to be a more simplistic version of the other form so that you can get the idea of how to use CSS for laying things out. So I'm going to add a label for the name. So I'm going to say label for equals my name. And we're going to put that in so that it will be text for the user to see what the text box is going to be for. And then we're going to have input type equals text. We're going to say name equals my name so that it matches the four in this label. And ID equals my name. Now I'm going to do one for email, so I'm going to copy and paste this in and then just change these to email. So let's see what that looks like so far. So we have the label for both text fields. They're not really being formatted. They're all displaying on the same line. So how can we break these up? One thing that we, one tool that we know is using a division because we can use a division to format each of these independently of each other. So what I'll do is surround each label and input type with a division. And we'll put in the closing div tag and I'll put in an opening div tag and another closing div tag. Now let's see what that looks like. All right, remember divisions are their own block elements so it will start to stack them on top of each other. Let's make another division and this one will be for a text area. So we're going to put in a label so we'll say comments and this will be comments. And instead of an input type, this is going to be a text area. I'm going to give it a name and an ID. Set it up for some rows and some columns. And we'll close the division. So now let's see what that looks like in the preview. Okay, well, it's coming along. We'll work on that. And our form needs a submit button. So we're going to put that in another division. Now, it doesn't need a label, so it's just a straight input type equals submit. And we'll say value equals send now. And we'll close the division. So another look before we start adding our CSS formatting. Now you can see that we have the labels here. They're all taking up different uh, spacing. So if we can set up those labels in order to be consistent, make them all the same width, then that will line up these other form elements next to them. So in my style sheet in the head section, I'm going to come up here and we'll say label. We're going to float them left. Let's give them a width so that they're all going to be the same width, say 150 pixels. Let's just see how that's going so far. Looking better already. Now if we wanted to take this text and move it over to the right so that they're right next to these, that should be easy enough to do. We can say um, text align right. And there we have that. Now it's really close in there, so 
We'll add some more styling in here so that we have a little bit of spacing around there. We'll say padding right. Let's give it about 12 pixels so that there's more space there. Yeah, okay. And let's open this up so that they're not also squished together. Let's do a margin top. And again, we'll use 12 pixels for that. And let's switch in and see. Ooh, I really went off there, huh? Let's go back. So to fix that, what we can do is we can add a clear in there. So if I come back over here to preview, we can see now they're aligned back up again. Now this alignment part is off, but we've just been working with the labels. So that is the text here. We haven't worked with any of these yet. So now we've got to set those up. So if we come back in here, we'll say we want the input and the text area tags contain this formatting. And let's set it up so that we have a margin top to match what we set up for the labels. So that was 12 pixels. And let's see if that looks any better. Yeah, now that's lining up better. Now we can also set up our form. We gave our form an ID. So just like we've given other divisions ID names, we can use this ID in our formatting, right? We use a pound sign symbol for our ID and then the name of the ID. And then we can add formatting in there. So let's give our form a background color. So let's background color, we'll do a nice light gray. And let's give the whole form a width. And let's just say 80% so it will adjust. So let's preview that. Okay, now we need to format this send now so that it will be centered inside here. So let's come down to this division. Let's give the, the division that our submit button is in an ID and we'll call it the submit and then up in our style sheet. Again, we'll reference that ID with a pound sign symbol and then add in some formatting. So we'll say text align center and let's put padding around it, maybe 15 pixels. Now, if we didn't want this centered, it might look better if it was lined up like right under here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So rather than centering this, we can give this a margin so that it will start from this edge and come in and line up right under here. So instead of text align center, we'll say margin left. And we made the width of our labels 150 pixels. So let's make the margin left 150 pixels. And then that should jump that right over underneath this. So that is a, a quick view of how to lay out your form elements without using a table, but it looks like we used a table. It seems to be much cleaner, much easier to edit and work with when you're coding. And of course, CSS is the preferred method of layout as opposed to using a table for layout.